Obviously, one of the, the things that the, the government's introduced has been the, the personal savings uh, allowance recently. And uh, yeah, that's had, uh, seems to have had an impact on ISAs in the market. Do you, do you think we'll see further changes to either the, the personal savings allowance or to, to ISAs themselves as a result? The personal savings allowance is clearly wonderful. It's taken 95% of customers in the UK out of taxation on their savings. Yeah, that, that can be nothing but a good thing. Um, ISAs have taken £300 billion worth of customers out of taxation for the past 20 years. So I think a lot of people are now turning their back on ISAs because they yeah. think, well, the PSAs is around, everything's fine. Customers are already not paying tax up to £1,000 uh, of interest. So why, why do we need an ISA anymore? But when that thousand pounds limit is reached then a customer is paying tax or if a government because it's just a form of it's a tax cut yeah. so when the government as, as governments do say we're no longer going to have that tax cut i think it will be a lot more palatable for a for a, for a government to get rid of the personal savings allowance than it will for them to get rid of ISAs. You know, ISAs are so established in the savings market now ISA is my core savings product which i always open first as, as soon as I can on the 6th of April every year, and then my money goes into that. And once I go outside of that, then once I, once I build out uh, above, the, um, above the balance, which is quite difficult now, that's £20,000, um, but th it's always the first, the first yeah. thing that I open. And PSAs are a, a nice, is a nice to have, but will it still be around in 10 years' time? That's not for me to decide, that's for the government to decide, but I just know it's a lever the government can pull, and I think the ISA is a, 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 a much less likely lever for them to pull. Yeah, I'd, I'd agree with you on that. I think it'd be difficult to um, to cull the ISAs, and if you look at the kind of ISA history, it was originally the TESSA. Mm. Uh, um, so I think... Toises, you know, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah maybe rebranded, but yeah. um, I, I can't see that that, that will, will go. The personal savings allowance looks like the obvious one to either cut the mm. amount or yeah. to tinker with. I, I don't. I think some people are thinking it might be like ISAs and we'll see a gradual rise every year in the allowance. But yeah. I don't think it will be. It will be that. Although one thing that may help Treasury is if we start to enter a rising interest rate environment, you can leave the allowance as is and effectively bring more people in anyway because yeah, rates yeah. rise yeah, sure. and, and therefore mm. more people come come out of the allowance yeah. go out, go over the uh, the limits. So. Well, look at it. Ten years ago, when average rates were five percent, maybe maybe a little lower than that, um, almost everybody was earning over a thousand pounds a year. Yeah. You know, I mean, it, it, an it's hard rate, not to precisely. Yeah, yeah for an yeah. average saver. Yeah, yeah. Um, whereas now you've got to be a you've got to have what seventy grand, sixty grand. Yeah, to, if you're basically a taxpayer. Yeah, yeah. 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 So it's a lot. Yeah, no. but you're right. If if interest rates do. I mean, they use the term normalise, which I, I don't know if I really agree with, but if interest rates do start hitting the 3 4 5% mark again, yeah. more and more people are going to be paying tax. So yeah. what do you need to stop paying tax? You need a nicer. And so that's why we, so we've, we've really consistently invested in our ISA proposition, because even though it's, it's not the, the big ticket in town, it's not the big game in town at the moment, we think it will be, and we want to be ready for when customers are ready to start putting money in their ISAs, ISAs yeah. again. Um, I mean, and then you've got things like the Help to Buy ISA, the Lifetime ISA, just wonderful products, absolutely wonderful products. You're getting 25% from the from the government. Yeah. Who wouldn't have one of those? But yeah. Someone else. If you qualify. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah. Too old, no way. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, it's interesting you um, you mentioned that. I think uh, possibly one of the things that might I could see happening with ISAs is perhaps some consolidation. We've got rather a large number of them. You've got the you know the long term ISA. You've got help to buy ISA. You mentioned yeah. you've got cash ISAs. You've got stock yeah. shares. You've even got Inifid to finance ISAs. I do wonder whether someone in Treasury might sit there and say mm. we perhaps need to tidy this yeah. this up. It's gone from being a really simple yeah. product, a yeah. uh, three thousand pound pot, yeah. uh, into Quite a um, quite a variety yeah. now, and that probably simplicity has perhaps gone Definitely, for consumers. Yeah. So yeah, because they went through a period of let's let's launch ISAs. So they launched the ISAs back in was it the late nineties, and yeah. they said so we've launched ISAs, but you can only have three thousand in a cash or three thousand in a stocks and shares. Yeah. And then they said, well, now you can have seven thousand two hundred and forty, whatever it was, and you can put half in a cash, half in a stocks and shares, but never the two shall meet. And but then they said, let's simplify it. You can put 
everything in stocks and shares, everything in a cash, it doesn't matter. You can transfer between the two when the nicer, the new ISA yeah. came out. And that was, <laughs> all right, great. And then they've gone, now you can have an innovative ISA. Now you can have a help to buy ISA. But if you have a help to buy ISA, you can only put 250 quid a month into it. And then you go, go into it and it's like, oh gosh, now I'm yeah. struggling to keep up with it. So um, yeah, I, I would like to probably see a bit of simplification in, in the ISA market because they're great products. Yeah. But they're just overly complicated in my view.